It's my feel good breakfast show. Welcome back, welcome back. This is your feel good breakfast show express. So only on SABC3. It's a Bok Friday. We are celebrating. We're happy the weekend is here. Can you believe it? I cannot believe it. Well, the week has flown by. And of course, you know, with technology always out and about creating new things, we could be expecting some wearable fashions. So, Leanne, which is the first one? Oh, you know, when it comes to technology, wearables are fast becoming the next big thing. And what makes them so useful is that from devices and apps that uh, help you to track your heart rate and food consumption, they can also be gadgets that monitor your mood and even surrounding air. Uh, learning more about yourself uh, gives you the ability to function at your very, very best. So there's some pretty cool ones out there. Yeah. You and you've got one. Yeah, I love this one. I mean, it's called the Echo Munich, if I say it correctly. But it's, but you know what? For decades, you know, blind people have been oh, you know forced to to use a guide dog and a simple stick to get around. But now the tech is actually helping out as well. It's a new piece of wearable tech. Uh, it's a navigation aid for the vision impaired. All right, it's the Echo Munich. It enhances wow. perception through sonar proximity sensors and using uh, a combination of GPS accelerometers and haptic feedback to lead this user through an urban uh, environment you know, much more safely. Wow. I mean, that is where technology sure. is actually heading. It's incredible. It amazing. is incredible, especially when it's using an app as yeah. well. So the next one is called the Airwaves. And it's, you know, it's over, a, it's, you know, a lot of uh, poor air quality yeah, in yeah. a lot of major yeah. cities yeah. and mm. especially in China. Now, there's one company, they've created contemporarily style pollution masks that wow. is embedded with sensory sensors that filter and measure real-time air quality. Now, what's pretty cool is this data is then fed into a smartphone app and then wow. it's shared with others and it's becoming like a data platform where, it, you know, it's a builder, it's for to get people more aware of yeah. these cities are really polluted, so wear your mask or bring it along if you're going that way. Wow, there's another yeah. cool one that's, uh, uh, you know, called the Mnemo. With social media being such a big player in today's online world, one company has imagined an interactive friendship bracelet that enables you to not only record, relive and share a memory reel mm -hmm. of your friends, uh, pictures, songs and locations from just a single event, all with a bracelet. So I love that. It's, it's everything that you need to relive special moments on on your wrist and it looks cool and then this is one very cool it's called compass go so you know our lives has really become predictable you know we we follow the same patterns but this one forces you to step outside of wow. what you actually know which is great yeah. so one company thinks you should know you should change the concept of design um you know something like a, comp a compass it will yeah. literally point you in a direction that you wouldn't normally go so specifically for city life all right so if you're feeding down you know it might actually just point you to an ice cream shop wow. basically yeah so go there do something spontaneous that's for cool. once that's cool it'll know? point me the... to chocolate all the time it's <laughs> <laughs>